start by taking the Hemera out of the, the box and then undo the M3 by 22 screws, tip it upside down and take the screws out. Um, for the next bit, you want to make sure you loosen off the idle tension. It's going to make it a bit easier to, to pull apart. Um, so yeah, take off the idle tension. Uh, now wiggle off the, the heat sink with all the gears on it. Um, make sure to keep the motor pointing up so you can make sure the, the T-nuts don't fall out. So we're going to take the drive hob out, so release a bit of the idler, uh, pull the idler back so you can get the drive hob assembly out. Uh, and we're simply going to try and twist the large gear relative to the, the smaller gear. Um, okay, cool. So this one looks good. Here's an example of one that doesn't look so good. So it's quite easy to pick up if they've cracked. If they cracked, it's going to be uh, very loose and it's going to be able to slide actually as well. Um, it's not a case of um, it's slightly slipping, it's a case of it will be completely uh, released. We're also going to check the uh, idler hob as well. There's no need to take it out of the actual injection molded part. We can just quickly check that there's no slipping there at all. Cool, right, and now we're going to put it back together. So we're going to take the spring, uh, put it into the injection molded slide block. And uh, again, having the idler tension is going to help a lot to, to make this go back in. Um, so put the idler back in, um, do all the kind of steps in reverse. So now pull the idler back, put the drive hob in. Uh, we can now put a little bit of uh, idle tension on to make sure that the uh, everything stays attached to the heatsink. And now we're going to flip that upside down, put it back onto the motor, wiggle it together, uh, and then do up the screws. 